All right, um, hello everyone, my name is Jay, and I just bought my new 3D printer machine, CR10B2. So today we are gonna check what it comes inside and how to assemble it. All right, so first, uh, we are gonna start opening the box. Let's put this over here. Okay, uh, first we found a 3D printer user manual. Uh, at second, we are gonna find uh, the frame base. We are putting it across right here. At third, we are gonna find uh, the control box. I think we can put it around here. Here we got white filament, the tool box, put it around here. So this is the gantry. Now we are gonna pull it out. Right next, we are gonna start to assemble the machine, right? So here we got the gantry, the toolbox, the control box, the filament, the pullover, the base frame, and that's it. All right, so now we are gonna assemble the machine. Here we got the toolbox, All right? We need it to assemble the whole machine. We are gonna put the control box away, now we don't need it. And all this stuff we are not gonna use. So now, I will show you how to start to assemble the 3D printer machine. All right, so now we are gonna follow with the assembling process. Gonna open the toolbox to check it out. Here we find different parts. Now, how we find the screws? Let's try to assemble. I will check the manual first. Here it says, two screws for each side. Number one, number two, let's see. All right. <clears throat> So we keep assembling the machine now. I'm almost done. To make it really tight so it's not gonna fall or move during the process. All right. So let's see what's next. Then we are supposed to use the second rows, right? According to this, so put it together. Here we got more screws, number one L, number two L. All right. Okay. To make it with both hands at the same time. Now it's assembled. Now we need to use. And finally, I should stick it to the L. Oh, well, I need to put one more of this on the other side. And we should use the L now. One side. The side with one hole should go this way. So we are going to use this screw. On the L side, from this side to the L, right? For a smaller one. All right, this one is perfect. And after that, we shall use another two screws on the other side. Yep. Finally, we got the assembled part. Then we go with the next step. Should make it one more time with the next one. We make the same process on both sides. Pretty easy. Here we make it tight, and now in the same way as before, we just screw these two last one over here. So uh, we got number one, pull rod, number two, pull rod. Right next, we are gonna install the rod of the control box. Yeah. And we are gonna use this little frame over here. 
Uh, we open the last bag looking for this little screw. All right, we are almost finished the assembling process. So now I will put these rods in their place. First, we need to take this tape off. It's a little bit hard. Yeah, it's gone. Should use this one. Oh, so set it up here. This is not the right one. Now I'm checking that you need to fix the position first over the corner. You cannot put it too much to the middle. Yeah. I this much better. Then uh, we finish around here. All right, we are almost finished now. So here we come with the last part and two advice. Uh, first, you need to check the long of this screw because this is really important. This rod gives the support to the machine. So we need to be careful about that. And the second advice is that we should check how tight are all the screws before doing anything else. Because as I said before, these are the support for the machine. So if this is bad installed, then we cannot use the machine in the right way. We use this tool. All tight. Number one. Number two. Around for a while. Number three. Finally, look at this one. Number four. So now we can check it's really tight. All right. So we already finished installing the rack. So now I'm going to uh, fix this introduction process. First of all, we need to lift it up from both sides at the same time, like this. All right. Now it's better. Yeah. We should turn both right to the left side and it's gonna lift up. The right side is a little bit harder. It's gonna work. I think our out there is fine. So now what I'm gonna do is take this little friend around here. Okay, so now we are gonna install this little friend over here. We gonna screw it up. Try to screw number two first. Here we go. Yeah. Now it is in the right place, I guess, and we are gonna check the connections. First connection, I'm gonna make it around here. First, here behind, Z cable in the Z port. Number one, and number two around here. Number three, cable X inside this rack. We should make the same on the other side. See cable inside the rack. Yeah, we are almost done. And finally, this little friend over here. Now we got everything in place. All right, guys, we are almost done connecting the rack. But here is a little tip. This little cable will give you a lot of trouble. So the best way is to flip it here. And after that, just put it here and push it to the top. That's it, it's connected. Now, we are gonna connect the control box with this main machine. So first of all, this one goes here. Remember to tie everything up. Now, big rack, go on, on top. <clears throat> yeah, small rack, go at the bottom. Yeah, here it goes. All right, guys. We are almost finished with the process now. I'm um, gonna connect it to the electricity. Here we got this port. Yeah. Um, and let's turn it on to start the configuration of it. 
now you can feel how everything is working inside all right guys we are almost done here so we are gonna do the last step now uh, we click here we look into the options prepare auto home then we can see how it's gonna fix it by itself all right and after that we need to calibrate it so we are gonna use disable steppers okay after clicking over here what we are gonna do is use these little lifters over here to let the shorter distance we can do between the printer and the surface okay so we are gonna lift it a little bit the shorter we can without touch and then remove it to the other side and do it one more time in four corners not only in the front corners also in the back corners so one more time over here then pull it back to this place yeah finally you can see in the four corners they have the same distance all right we are gonna try to use the 2d printer so first we go here to options prepare and we are gonna look for preheat PLA now we go to the first option preheat PLA and we let it preheat when it's preheating uh, today I'm gonna use this red filament because I got the new one is white but this I already got it so I'm gonna use it first and in the toolbox you can also find the right scissors all right so here we can use the scissors now we have to take care of let it a little bit point okay because when it go inside it needs to be point so we are gonna cut it in the right direction it can be really pointed yeah. so after this just gonna play this little frame here we put it inside this hole just turn on a wall light we open right here we press this and then we start pushing it inside entering the filament we'll arrive to the printing place yeah after that we close it and it's done ready to print now we are gonna check uh, how to introduce our personalized d car into the machine and print anything that we already have prepared in our laptop so I guess it's around here when we put it inside we could check that here there is an option called print from TF all right it should be working now so now the fan starts and then it starts to work All right, guys, so now after some time, I'm gonna check the final product. The surface is a little bit hot, so you need to be careful. The product as well, but I think it's ready. Let me check. I'm gonna use the spans because this is still a little bit sticky to it. I need to take it from the corner and everywhere. No. Take it off. Right now, I can see like, the product is pretty like a smoothie. The shape is pretty smoothy, and the color is consistent. And actually, the time it took is not that long. It's much closer now. So I'm pretty happy with the result. Uh, the machine works pretty well. It's simple, easy to handle. So I think it's pretty well. Makes me happy the result.